to all of Detroit and the world. God bless America. Listen. God bless America. It's the Metro Detroit Youth Day is celebrating 28 years. That's right, 28 years strong of bringing positive youth development to the young people in the city of Detroit and the Metro Detroit population. And listen, when I tell you that they've grown, they've gone from over 1,100 young people in their first year to hosting over 35,000 young people in 2009. Throughout their 28 years, they've hosted over 700,000 thousand young people and today is going to be off the chain it's going to be off the heezy and i'm standing right here with a couple of young people and they're going to tell you real quick what they think about detroit youth day tell me what you think about metro detroit youth day messiah it's fun and i've been here for a long time and it's very fun it's fun wait 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 let me come over here what do you think about detroit metro youth day it's good it's good you glad you're here yeah have you been here before no is it going to be fun today? Yeah. Are you going to lose your mind today? No, I don't know. No. He's not going to lose his mind, but he is going to have fun. That being said, I want to give you just a little taste, a little taste of what the young people are going to experience here today at the Metro Detroit Youth Day. On the count of three, everybody. One, two, three. <laughs> There it is! 
2010 Metro Detroit Youth Day. We'll be coming back to you with entertainment from Tone Tone, from Dre Hill. That's not Drew Hill, that's Dre Hill. And we're going to have a magnificent time. Enjoy 2010 Metro Detroit Youth Day. Ladies, it's so good to be here with you. Again, this is Keisha coming to you with Metro Detroit Youth Day with the beautiful young ladies of a new group called Boy. You're going to be hearing a lot for them. Say yes. Say hi, ladies. Hi. Is this your first time at Metro Detroit Youth Day? Yes, this is our very first year of participating in Metro Youth Day. Fantastic. Why is it important for you to be here? Actually, it's very important. We actually been just got off a big school tour where we've been going to different high schools and middle schools and, and just stressing the importance of education. So this is just another add-on to what we're trying to do in the community. So why do you think it's important for young people to be involved with an event like this? I think it's very important because now I've heard that they're also talking about taking the arts out of school. And a lot of times it's what keep, keeps kids motivated. I know it's what kept me motivated. So it's just kind of like the motivation. It keeps them going and letting them know that you can be this and still go to school or still be successful in whatever it is that you want to do. You all are so beautiful. I know that they have like 35,000 young people out here. Are you guys from Detroit? Yes, we are from Detroit. Thank you so much for the compliment. You're welcome. So with that many young people being out here, what do you think the draw is that brings that many young people to an event like this? I think it's just positivity. I mean, this is something good. I don't think their parents force them. It's something nice for them to do. And it's a lot of activities, a lot of educational things here, entertainment. It's fun. It's something to do out in the summer. So I'm glad that they came out so we can inspire some kids today and, you know, tell them to pursue their dreams or whatever they want to do. Now, since you all have come out to inspire some kids today, I'm going to allow you all to do your shameless plug and let us know when your album is coming out and when can we expect to hear from you next. Actually, right now we're just pushing our hot, hot, hot new single. It's called Let Down My Hair. You can request it on 955WJLB, all radio stations. And also our YouTube, we are the highest rated girl group in the country and we're here from Detroit. You can hit us up at Boy Sings To You. It's B-O-I Sings, the number two, the letter U. Yeah? Yeah. All right. So now you, you got to give me 30 seconds of something. Give me 30 seconds of your single. Go. I'm the type of girl that I just post up in my cup with my nose turned up. With my girls, one on the left, two on the right. Talking daddy in and daddy ain't all night. Baby sit in my hay. VIP comfort zone. The sun is on. We on my arm, but tonight I'm 
try to sing a different song. Came here to party, meet somebody, do my little dancing. Okay, that's it, that's it. You got to get the album. You got to call them. You got to request them. Thank them for being here at Metro Detroit Youth Day. I am the fifth member of Boy Hey. Mr. Mayor, thank you for being here today at Metro Detroit Youth Day. Tell me why is this event important to the city of Detroit? Well, it's a thing about all of us getting together, being supportive of each other, letting our youth know that we love them, that we support them, and that they indeed are the future of the city. So I'm happy that so many volunteers out, so many sponsors came to the table. It's wonderful. Now, this has been going on for 28 years. What can the people expect from this event today? 
I think it's a matter of coming together, letting everybody know that uh, we respect each other and that the only way that we bring this city back is we do it together. And, uh, you know, we got youth from all over the city and even outside of the city, and that's going to be very important for our future. One last question, Mr. Mayor. For all those people who are watching this video, we know that the Metro Detroit Youth Day brings over 35,000 young people. But there are 35,000 young more, 35,000 more young people out there. What can we do, and what can you say, to bring those young people here as well? Well, for those of you that are not here, you don't know what you're missing. Uh, just the camaraderie and the opportunity to meet other people is so important because you know everybody comes from a different walk of life. So everybody that's down here bring something to the table so come down next year don't miss this this is a great affair thank you mr mayor god bless day. you know i told you earlier that it's the volunteers and the people behind the machine that makes this day so wonderful and miss ray nona is one of those people she's been with metro detroit youth day for years now she serves as part of their board and is also the also the liaison for their scholarships tell us why that role and position is so important it's very important to me and Mr. D because to see these young people who are trying to achieve something in life and any kind of help or assistance they can get, they're really very appreciative of it. And it's an opportunity for other young people who come to the island to see young people who are doing something yeah. positive. You know, I, I heard something about the scholarships and um, I don't know if it's necessarily true, but what's the requirement for them to get the scholarships? We're basically looking for graduating seniors who maybe have no scholarship money coming from anywhere else because those are the ones that we want to give that extra yes. boost to and motivate them to go on and continue. Whether it's a small sum or one of the larger scholarships amount, yes. they're very appreciative and it, I think it does motivate the students. And that's what, I, that's what I heard. And that was significant for me because so many young people who need finances to go to school to further their education sometimes they don't know where to go or where to look or where to look but here you are at Metro Detroit Youth Day and you're making it happen so what's the response from the young people who get a call from you saying hey you have money to go to school now I think one of the most touching things was that this year I called a young man and told him he was a recipient of a Michigan State scholarship and he got choked up on the phone but part of it was because of his essay that he wrote saying he came from a large family and he wanted to continue so that call really touched my heart as they all do really because the students like I said and the parents are very appreciative of any kind of assistance going to college. Now last thing you guys have been doing this for 28 years started off with 1,100 young people in 2009 had over 35,000 young people and here we are in 2010 I'm assuming that we're almost hitting that number if we haven't exceeded it as of yet what is the success of your organization due to the cooperation and the commitment and dedication of all of the uh, volunteers and the committee that meets starting in January all the way to this point and everyone is volunteering their time this is not a paid position you know and it's because of these children these young people these young adults that we do this now listen um, it, you know somebody looking at this from the outside would say they have more than enough help it seems like they're well organized and everything is great. But what would you say to somebody? What are your needs? What would you say to somebody to get them involved and to pull them in to get them active in this wonderful organization? Can I just give you an example? Today, one of the mothers of a scholarship recipient came to me and said, Mrs. Patrick, I'm so appreciative of the uh, award. I want to give back. Yes. Tell me what I can do to give back. I said, that is wonderful, and I gave her a big hug. Those are the kinds of things to just get involved yes. and uh, to, to show young people there are other ways of having fun and, yes. and constructive things to do. Yes. So you gotta live your dream. Yeah. So you gotta live your dream. Yeah. 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 Yeah
Hello, everybody. This is Keisha coming to you again at Metro Detroit Youth Day 2010. And if you don't know, now you know it's just been an amazing day. And when I tell you that the Flu Flap Boys put it down, they put it down. As a matter of fact, they put it down so tough, they had to call them back a second time and a third time to do further songs. And not only that, they put it down so bad that somebody behind me got a phone ringing because they just that hot. So we're going to find out more about the Flu Fly Boys, how they got started. Can you tell us a little bit about who you are, your group, and how you got started? Uh, yes, I'm Silky Steve. I'm one of the producers of Flu Fly. We all producers. This is our manager, Hookmaster Dinks. Um, we all came together. We grew up together. And then our nephews and all them came together. So we seen talent in them. So we organized something to keep them out of trouble as well. We found we was keeping ourselves out of trouble. Uh, it's a positive message we're putting out here with the kids, and we want to make sure we get the message out to the Metro youth because there's more enough kids out here you can get in one area like this. Listen, every mama in the city of Detroit, right. once they see this video, is going to want to know where'd you get your name from? Because okay. your mama didn't name you Silky Steve, no, no, but you, nevertheless, you're Silky Steve. That's right, that's so, right. so where did the Flu Fly Boys come from? Where'd you get the name from? Okay, Flu Fly Boys, we wanted to start a, a, like, a type of music that could spread around the community like an epidemic. Yes. And so when we started putting our music together in the studio. He said epidemic. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> uh, so we started putting our music together in the studio, and then we'd be bringing it back to the neighborhood, let people hear and They're like, dang, man, that's sick. That's sick. So we say, hey, man, let's make up the name Flu Fly. So that's the name we came up with, Flu Fly, to spread our music around like an epidemic. <laughs> All right, we're standing here with Bishop Egervan from Second Ebenezer Church, one of the premier pastors in the city of Detroit. We all know him. We all love him. It's an honor for you to be here today. So tell us what this day means to you, Bishop. You know, for me, it means hope and promise and potential. When I look in the eyes and the hearts and the minds of these young people here, you know, there's so much energy. Uh, there's so much promise. Uh, there's so much potential for the future. Mm -hmm. So it lets me know that Detroit's future is safe. And I like that because I know one, part of the mission with Metro Detroit Youth Day is bringing positive youth development, constructive use of time, and I know that they hosted over 35,000 young people last year. So what do you think that success is really due to? Well, it's due to the fact that there are people that still care. Ed Deeb cares, others of us who partner with him, all these corporations, all the business community in Detroit, and uh, community organizations, uh, block clubs, uh, summer day camps, church groups, uh, all coming together, realizing the power of unity for the sake of our young people. This is Keisha coming to you again at Metro Detroit Youth Day 2010, and I'm here with our council person, President, Mr. Charles Pugh. Mr. Charles Pugh, we're so happy that you're here. So what's the significance of today? Well, the significance of today is that our young people are a vital part of us improving the city. Um, young people need to know that they are somebody else's role model, 
that they're somebody else's advisor and that there are other people, uh, whether they're or, you know somebody one year younger or maybe they're a couple of years older, are looking for leadership, are looking for an example of what to do when things go wrong, when things are going right. Uh, so you know, young people need to know that they're important to us, that they're not an afterthought, that they're not something that happens after what's important happens. They are important. They are a centerpiece of how we're going to improve this community. So that's why I'm here. I'm not. I'm. I'm not going on the stage. I'm going to go around and talk to as many. You're not going to go to the stage. No, no. no. I'm, going to, I'm going to talk to as many individuals as I can, and just say that you're important to the city, and that's why you know we're doing this. Rightway Enterprises. He also sits on the executive board for Metro Detroit Youth Day. He's one of the volunteers, and he's also one of the people who gave one of those 55 scholarships that were given out today to one of our young people. Eric, thank you for being here, and, and, and tell us why this event is so important to the city of Detroit. We really have to get behind supporting our youth. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we want to complain about what's going on out there in the streets, and how um, things are turning out, but we can't just complain. We've got to step up, we've got to make a difference, and this is an event that has, as you know, been going on for 28 years. Yes. It is a positive event. It's one of the most incredible things to happen here in the state of Michigan, because let's face it, it's the event that absolutely represents and shows our support for the youth of Detroit and the Metro Detroit area. And you've definitely shown your support because you gave out one of the scholarships today. Yeah, yep. Uh, we actually, we, we sponsored two scholarships. Oh, two scholarships. Yeah, we sponsored two scholarships. And, um, I, you know, it, the bottom line is it's a blessing to give. You know, the Bible tells us it's better to give than receive. Yes, and, and one of the reasons why that is so is because when you're in a position where you can help somebody, it's far better to be on that end than to be the person who needs. So when we get to that position where we're, in, we're able to help, then we all should do our part. Yeah. Regardless, whether it's monetary or simply just, you know, volunteering your time, it makes a difference in people's lives. You know, Eric, you told me something earlier that I found pretty cool and amazing. And it hasn't all taken right. place yet at right, Metro please, Detroit Youth Day, but it's called the cleanup. We got thousands and thousands of young people here, and they have this event that they're getting ready to do in just a few moments called the cleanup. Eric, tell us about that. Well, the cleanup was something that they came up with to get the kids involved, and another way of us making sure that when we left the park, we left the park in as good a condition, if not better, than it was when we came. So they do this thing where they have the kids, we give all the kids garbage bags, then they run out there and they grab up all the garbage they can and they bring the, get the bags back to the stage and whoever brings the bag back to the stage full, they get a prize. I love it. Last question. Um, I believe I have this information correct that this is your first year being involved with Metro Detroit Youth Day? Actually, it's my second year. This they, is your second year. They, they, they brought me on board last year. Um, 
uh, my company handled all of the promo spots and, and things like that, and we did the website for Youth Day, um, which turned out to be an absolute big benefit. And then they asked me if I wouldn't mind sitting on the board of a uh, committee under the entertainment commitment because of some of the relationships I've had. And, um, you know, it, it, it was just incredible. I didn't expect it to be all that it was. So when I came out for the first time last year, I said, you know what? I got to come back. I absolutely have to come back. I've got to tell everyone that I know, hey, listen, this is an event that you need to be at. So is it safe to say that once you get locked in, then you're in for the duration? You are in for the duration. There are people that are still members that are part of the board that have been there since day one. And, you know, we're talking 28 years ago, and every year they're back. All right, here we go. Let's get it try. Children, spell Detroit. Ready, go. D all right, represent the D-Town. All right, you got to follow me. Here we go. Nod your head, ready. You got it. Here we go. Nod, jump, ready. You got it. Here we go. Move your body, ready. You got it. Here we go. Number one, ready. Yeah. Now, nah, I think they got it. All right, when I point this way, we jump this way. Put the number one sign, because you're number one in D-Town. We jump back this way. Let's see if they can follow. <laughs> I'm gonna go through a quick song. And we're gonna see if the people can name this, name the singer or the rapper before I roll out. Alright, who is this right here? DJ who? DJ who? Um, let's test the people out, see if they really know it and they say about the hands. Let's see if they get it. DJ Well, 
somebody come up here and tuck and duck for me, but we can't let nobody. Can't let nobody smile. Right. Right. Can y'all help me out with this song right here? Smile it out. I'm coming out there to you. And I'm gonna let somebody um, sing this song right here. Hey, who think they know it? Who think they know this song right here? again with the 2010 Metro Detroit Youth Day and you know we've interviewed a lot of people today but at this moment we get the opportunity to interview the gentleman who started it all 28 years ago Mr. Deebs so you have to tell us what inspired you to start this event well, I'll tell you what inspired us we had uh, altercations on Livernoy between uh, six and seven mile road it, it resulted in three uh, murders and uh, we uh, decided to form Metro Youth Day to show the young people that we respected them cared for them and uh, we worked with Mayor Coleman Young who said that you got to do something to show the kids we created Metro Youth Day it's been a big success ever since well God has really blessed you because you've gone from 1,100 people to in 2009 hosting over 35,000 people. Unbelievable. And more this year. And, and then, more. I guess in the 28 years, over 700,000 uh, young people. Well, in the, yeah, well, more than that even. More like eight or 9,000, 100,000. Yeah, we've come a long way. We've given out 55 scholarships today. And if we totaled them all, we gave out nearly 700 scholarships since 1990. So it's a lot of things that we want to show our kids that uh, the, the life for them is to get a degree and find a nice job. Don't, don't be out on the streets, you know? So for 28 years, what do you think has held this whole thing together and made it stronger and stronger year by year? Well, I think the biggest thing is the organizations we had uh, and volunteers. We had 320 organizations participate and uh, we had over 1,500 volunteers. So, I mean, uh, they, they help us out, and the sponsors that help support us. Without, without them, we couldn't do it, you know. Now, Mr. Deeves, the camera didn't catch this, but just a few moments ago, I saw you dancing with the young people. So we got to see you do a move for the camera, Mr. Deeves. I, I was lucky. I'm so exhausted. I've been here since 5 in the morning. I only got four hours sleep. Ah um, uh, man, this is a. It takes a whole year to put this. Thing <laughs> yes, on. it does. What would you say to people who may not know about this event and who may want to get involved? Well, I think they ought to call our office or our, our website. Our phone number is five eight six three nine three. The website is uh, MetroDetroitYouthDay.com, and participate with us. All the schools should participate. All the young people between eight and fifteen should participate. And uh, uh, this is their summer vacation, excuse me, for many of them. It's their vacation. So it might as well be part of it. Well, Mr. Deeves, we appreciate your love and your passion and your commitment not only to the young people but also to the city of Detroit. And we just want to say thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate it. Okay, come back next year. He said, come back next year. You heard it from the man himself. Again, it was an honor to be here. It's been an awesome, a magnificent event. Thank you. All to you and your team. Thank you. Metro Detroit Youth Day 2010.